in this video clip we will think about the calcitriol calcitriol is a another hormone produced by the kidney so kidney is a bean shaped organ renal artery enter in the kidney renal vein leaving the kidney oxygenated blood is supplied by the renal artery and the deoxygenated leaving the kidney vitamin d which we get from the food and from the fruits as well as vitamin d which we get from the sunlight via skin So this is source of light the sun give us sun light so vitamin d which are which we get from the sunlight and from the food like milk dietary intake unfortunately they are inactive form of vitamin d vitamin d which we get from the sunlight via skin and vitamin d which we get from the dietary supplement are actually unfortunately inactive form of vitamin d it is like a precursor so vitamin d which are absorbed from the diet and from the skin via uh, from the sunlight via skin goes into the kidney via blood circulation goes into the blood circulation in active form of vitamin d precursor of vitamin d goes into the blood circulation these are the precursors of vitamin d moving inside the blood and goes into the kidney now the kidney convert the inactive form of vitamin d into active form means calcitriol calcitriol is the active form of vitamin d these are calcitriol make the some sense kuch samajh mein aa raha hai it is clear in short kidney converts the inactive form of vitamin d into active form of vitamin d active form of vitamin d which is called as calcitriol calcitriol is the active form of vitamin d now the calci calcitriol increases the calcium level in the blood by increasing the absorption of calcium in the in from the kidney so calcitriol increases the calcium level
calcistrol increases the calcium reabsorption down regulate renin calcitrol increases the calcium level reabsorption from the kidney because there is a, the basic function of filtration reabsorption and excretion so reabsorption of calcium from the kidney cells is done by the is stimulated by the calcitrol in addition calcitrol increases the absorption process of calcium ions and potassium phosphorus phosphorus from the intestine so calcitrol increases calcium and phos phosphorus ion absorption from the intestine via microvilli are situated inside the lumen of the intestine which absorb the nutrients necessary nutrients and move and drop in the in, inside the blood circulation so the inactive form of vitamin d from the food and from the sunlight via skin goes into blood circulation and this inactive form of vitamin d goes in 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 inside the kidney and this kidney converts the inactive form of vitamin d into active form this is precursor of vitamin d this is active form of vitamin d mature vitamin d so this mature vitamin d active form of vitamin d regulates these function like uh, increase calcium and phosph phosphorus absorption regulates parathyroid hormone for calcium regulation increase calcium reabsorption from kidney increase mineral mineralization of bone tissue increase bone reabsorption mineralization hardening and provide density to the bone tissue so the uses of calcitrol is calcitrol uses calcitrol is a synthetic version of vitamin d3 used to treat calcium deficiency calcium deficiency hypocalcemia in case of hypoparathyroidism because in the case of hypoparathyroidism calcium level significantly drop in the blood hypocalcparathyroidism in the case of hypoparathyroidism calcium calcium level in the blood gradually decreases because parathyroid hormones stimulate and regulate the synthesis and secretion of the calcium actually maintain the calcium level in the blood so less amount of calcium produce high secretion of parathyroid hormones so calcitriol is also used in the treatment of the metabolic bone disease in people with chronic kidney disease ckd ckd so what happened when the amount of vitamin d goes down in the body or blood so what are the complication will arises 
so the deficiency of vitamin d can leads to loss of bone density called osteoporosis osteoporosis is a deficiency of vitamin d leading to the demineralization of the bony tissue osteoporosis porous bone surface deficiency of vitamin d also may create fatigueness bone pain muscle weakness depression means anxiety more severe condition hypocalcemia because vitamin d active form of vitamin d calcitriol increase the secretion of calcium from the kidney cells reabsorption process low phosphorus phosphate level in the blood means hypophosphatemia because calcitriol calcitriol <coughs> increase the uh, increase the absorption of phos phosphate from the intestine digestive tract so loss of so deficiency of vitamin d will decrease the process of absorption leading to the hypophosphatemia low phosphorus level in the blood deficiency of vitamin d also creates a condition called rickets rickets means softening of bone in childhood bone becomes very delicate very soft in childhood the body structure become अल्टर लाइक धनु पैर धनु साकार हो जाता है मुड़ जाता है ऑस्टियो मलेशिया इज ए डिफिशेंसी कंडीशन मीन सॉफ्टिंग ऑफ पोन इन अडल्ट सो रिकेट्स इन द चिल्ड्रेन ऑस्टियो मलेशिया इन द एडल्ट इन केस ऑफ विटामिन डी डिफिशेंसी सो loss of vitamin d can creates many minor and major complication so i hope this video is little bit useful to enhance your knowledge if you like this video please like and share and comment about this